program security is selected from the configurations menu. This is designed to provide a mechanism restricting certain users from accessing specific data or functionality. Your software is shipped without any of this security enabled. It is up to a designated system administrator to determine which, if any, functions to protect and who in your shop should be allowed to access which protected functions. There is a master password that allows access to every function and is safe when access to program security is secured by adding it as a protected area. Then only the master password holder can access the actual program security settings. If you forget your password, you will need to call technical support for assistance with setting up a new master password. All other passwords created will have lesser privileges that the administrator assigns to each of them. This means that you don't need to log on when you start to work or when you take over from another user at a workstation. When a user attempts to work in a protected area or perform a protected function, the program requires them to enter a password. If the protected area is assigned to their password, they may proceed. If not, they are prevented from going any further with it. There are over 120 specific functions that can be password protected. Some common functions to protect are remove order, delete payment, discounts, history unpost, purge estimates, check profit, technician profiles, and any other sensitive information. Keep it simple, protect only the most important items as using excessive security creates more time required to enter passwords, slowing down your shop's workflow. Before we set up any usernames, let's first determine the areas of the program that we want to protect. Initially, the Select Protected Areas list is blank. Click on Change Protected Areas to open the list. If you are the administrator, this is where you'd enter your master password. The checkboxes under Select determine which functional areas will require a password to access once checked. Write's description confirms what each system function or area is that the protection can be applied to. We will select just a few for this exercise. The first is Supervisor Program Security so that access to this security is limited to the administrator. Apply Payments Charge will require a password to charge a customer invoice to a house account. Reports Print will require a password to print a report to paper or to the screen preview. The majority of program settings can be protected from being tampered with. This brings us to the Technician Add Edit Delete functions, which are only to be accessed by the administrator, so check all three. Click on Done to close the protected areas list. Now we have some protected areas to assign to the users and passwords we are about to create. 